On this episode, we're going to do some work on the interior of the car and maybe a few other little tiddly bits. Um, you can see here, you know, this is where the factory reinforcement is. It goes to the fender and stuff. And like the original one was cut out here for the uh, mini tubs. Uh, Detroit Speed, who built the mini tubs, also has a piece that goes in here uh, that rounds here. But I think I can do better. I think I can make a piece that's going to look better. I've already started cutting this side out. And then I'm going to make a cardboard template of what I want in there. And uh, you know what's going to happen. Dimple dye time. So I got both those pieces clamped in place and uh, yeah, I just got to weld them in. I think that's going to look pretty good. I thought about doing it all the way down, but I don't think it's going to add any strength at all and it's just going to add weight. So maybe it would look a little better, but this is going to be hidden by a seat. So I'm not terribly concerned about it. Uh, I do want the car to be strong. I want it to be stiff, but uh, I don't want to add any extra weight if I don't have to. those braces are all welded in both sides and uh, I like the way that looks I don't think I'm gonna do anything in the middle I don't think that's necessary I was thinking about maybe putting a little you know but it would only be for appearance and let's face it it's all gonna be covered anyways um, I didn't put out a video last week because I was doing not very glamorous stuff and I'll show you let me just roll the car a little bit here I was doing things like filling these little, um, there's trim that goes on here and there's screw holes. Well, here's one that I haven't welded up yet. Um, so those are were being welded up. So I did a lot of that and, uh, you know, grinding. I've been doing a lot of grinding of welds, you know, like those in there and all that stuff. And that's not very glamorous and I didn't think any of you would wanna see that. So I, that's why I chose not to make a video last week. But uh, these, there's some more stuff here that I have to do. It's gonna be a lot more of this non-glamorous work. I don't need these, these holes here. I don't need any of these for anything. So they're gonna get patched up and welded up and made nice. And today, all, another thing I've been doing is grinding off the top of all these spot welds, um, both sides. Those spot welds there, they're all gonna have to be ground down nice. Like, see, this one's all been this one's been nicely ground down, but I want to do that on all of them because though after you weld, it sits a little proud, you know, like it has a little bit of a hump on top of it. Well, that doesn't add to the strength at all. It only adds to the weight. Maybe it's nothing, but it still is something that I am concerned about. So uh, I'm going to be grinding those all off and that is not very exciting. So that's not something I'm going to bother showing a video on, but anyways doesn't feel like I'm accomplishing a lot, but I know that I am because I'm sp still spending, you know, eight to 12 hours every weekend on it. But well, hopefully I get past all this stuff and then we can get on to some really, really good, exciting things. Okay, so one more thing that I said I was gonna do in a previous video, now's the time that I have to do it. And uh, you'll see here that this is the underside of the car. You can see the car's upside down. Um, this here is the back side of those boxes that I welded uh, where my roll, roll bar or those back bars for the roll bar that they attach in the trunk. So this is the back side and you can see there's a gap here between uh, where that is welded and the frame rail. So I made a box section like this and 
it goes in there like so, and it'll tie that all together. So it's making the, um, the trunk floor, where the trunk floor is holding up the rear support bars for the roll bar, uh, it ties that into the rear frame rails. So that should make it considerably stronger. Um, and it's the same gauge, I use the same gauge metal that the frame rails are, so it should make it stronger. So that's just one more little thing that needs to be done. Not terribly glamorous, but it had to be done. Okay, and there they are. Those braces are all welded in. That's the uh, passenger side and the driver's side. So that should, how you can just see through that hole, you can see the box on the other side where the roll bar goes to. You can even see a little bit of the roll bar there. But yeah, you get the idea. So that'll reinforce all that. And then uh, there might be some more reinforcements going on, but I have to wait until I get the suspension in here. I don't want to be putting any braces in until I get that in. So. Oh yeah, looking good. Uh, speaking of the suspension, I'll be ordering that probably next month and picking it up in Lincoln, Nebraska in May.